In this movie, we're going to learn how to read and understand time code. For this, I'll be using the time code project you can find in the Chapter 6 folder. If you look at the upper left-hand corner of the timeline panel, you can see the current time. This is a display of time code. But basically what I've done so we can see the time code a little bit better is that I've added the time code effect to this beautiful uh, clip from artbeats.com. Now here's the way this reads from left to right. These little segments kind of break things up. This goes hours, then minutes, then seconds, then frames. So if I hit play, you can see these frames going really, really fast and these moving about once a second. Now if you want to advance in time somewhere, you simply click the current time indicator wherever you want to go. Or you could scrub this current time display, right or left, to scrub in time. Or if you know exactly where you want to go to a specific frame, you can click this to get the go to time dialog box and then manually type in the exact frame you want to go to and click OK. So that's pretty much what you need to know about time code. In most of the movies in this training series, we'll be sticking to pretty small time codes, such as this, at 3 seconds and 4 frames. But we probably won't get too much into hours and minutes just by the very nature of training. As we go out in time a little bit more, we could see 9 seconds, 22 frames, and so on. In the next movie, we're going to look at some technical video issues that you absolutely need to know.